Kirsten Kalstrom with HomeSmart PV and Associates, and I'm out here today at Elite Urgent Care with Dr. Amrick Bassey and his team. So, Dr. Bassey, how did you get into this profession? How did I get into medicine? Um, I think anybody who gets into medicine, you have to have a clear passion for it. There are life events that occur that give you increased passion for medicine. Um, I think my parents really wanted me to become a physician for a long time. I remember as a young kid that they would call, call me that little doctor. And then we had uh, an event that occurred that was pretty traumatic for me. For you. And I had some very, very special uh, physicians that took the, took, went way above and beyond what they were supposed to do to be able to con getting, get into the root of why I wasn't motivated to get better. So what happened to you? Uh, I had a significant burn injury. Mm -hmm. um, I was a, a young athlete at that time and was devastated that people were telling me that you're not gonna walk again, you're not gonna be able to play again. Oh, wow. And this doctor went beyond uh, just being a physician and treating the burn injury. He treated uh, me as a person and found out things about me, what motivated me. Yeah. And you know, he got me to the point where one night I crawled out of, out of bed, uh, crawled to the parallel bars, and started to try to pull them walking, and whereas I wasn't interested in physical therapy prior to that. So he made a significant he impact did. for you when you were young. Absolutely. So how did you uh, get to Modesto? I mean, you just that's, a long, to... that's a long ride. We were, I'm born and raised in Birmingham, England. Used to talk uh, with a British accent when we moved to Texas of all places. So we lived in Texas for two years and then uh, moved uh, to California. So I moved to California with uh, a British accent with a southern drawl. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see it's improved. <laughs> it's improved. And so how did you get to open up the Elite Urgent Care? So how did that come about? So my background in emergency medicine uh, has always made me feel that 75% of what we see in the emergency room mm -hmm. is doesn't belong there. Mm -hmm. It belongs in some place like this. Now, I, I negotiated with a couple of different hospitals in order to try to build something like this and, and make uh, uh, some attempts to do a, a joint venture. Those didn't go through and ultimately ended up saying, you know, let's just do this ourselves. So you didn't give up? So I didn't so give up. Nope. So this belongs in every city in America. Um, if you have a tenured physician who can do just about everything that the ER can do, uh -huh. and you have this, this type of staff that we have that is, is bought in on, this is one of the best urgent cares in America, right? The level of treatment that we can give here is significant, and the, the response from patients is enormous. They, there's nobody that actually wants to go over there to the ER if you can be seen in an institution like this. Right, right. This belongs, in every, like I said, in every city in America. Um, it probably will at some point in time, but you've got to have people who are pioneers, who are willing to put their own money up mm -hmm. uh, to build something like this, and then hopefully others will see this and follow, okay. because this can offload the ER like crazy. So um, I was impressed, and I'm, I'm currently uh, uh, a member um, talk to me a little bit about or share about the two different packages that you have for the uninsured or maybe the insured who have high deductibles. Okay, so let's talk about membership period. Yeah. Uh, membership, why would I order open a membership to Elite Urgent Care? Well, we stopped seeing Medi-Cal patients uh, mm -hmm. due to problems with Medi-Cal. Um, we wanted to increase volume. That was my initial uh, motivation. Once I sat down and thought about the level of, of our treatment and what we can do and offering full membership to Elite Urgent Care, I priced it at $125 a person. Now, will the people sign up for $125 per month? Absolutely they will. But that doesn't do the community any justice. That doesn't do the pain that I've seen in the last four years any justice. Um, that doesn't help your single mom who's struggling with two jobs trying to uh, meet, uh, have ends meet. It doesn't take away the pain that I've seen when you see her walking quivering because she doesn't know how much it's going to cost to, to, to have her son or daughter treated. Mm -hmm. That, made me, that motivated, me, motivated me even more to say, you know what, 
this is something bigger than me. Right. I actually had an opportunity to change the landscape of acute care medicine in Stanislaus County by pricing this at $35 instead of $125 and give access to care back to patients. Right. So it's affordable, it's for the family. Absolutely. So um, how do you see it in, in the next year or two? What do you think is going to be here? In the, we just in the started this. Uh, we haven't started advertising as of yet. Um, there's not anything that exists that will give patients um, access to care. If I have insurance uh, and I pay my premiums, I see it every day at the front counter. People who are complaining, what do you mean I have to pay $125? They don't understand that they have a deductible to meet in order to be, to be seen. Your non-insured patients, they are they're paying cash. 90% of the patients who have insurance today are insured. Um, they're insured and yet they have no access to care because they still have a high deductible. I'm one of them. If I, if I need medical care, I'm, I'm paying cash. This is designed to give you access to care. This is not insurance. It is designed to, to give you access to care to your everyday life. We are capable of doing just about everything that we do in the emergency room here. And we give that to you for a single uh, monthly price for a family of four. That is revolutionary. It hasn't been done before. Um, I feel a great passion now that there's going to be a tremendous number of people that are going to be helped by a program like this. Right now in the United States, pa patients who need help are sitting back. They're not going to get treatment. Um, they can't afford it. And they're getting sicker and sicker. And where do they end up? The emergency room. This is going to help uh, alleviate that barrier. So do you see yourself also growing in, in the county? So what are your future plans? I, I honestly so believe well? that a program like this is going to go viral. Um, Stanislaus County needs four of these at least, maybe five. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have uh, we have already put in, into place plans to move into uh, Manteca, Ceres, uh, Turlock, oh, and give the community access to care. Well, I'm really excited about it, and I just signed up last month. So, um, like I had mentioned, I. I worked in software engineering for 22 years and then uh, last year decided to uh, do full-time full real estate and so uh, one of the big shock for me, a price shock, was how much insurance costs. So I was really excited about it and I hope everyone else gets to check out the program on your on your website. So how would they get a contact with you? All you need to do is go to EliteUrgentCare.com, uh, go to membership, look at the two different plans that we have and find out what works for you. If you have any questions, call the clinic and we'd be happy to discuss it with you uh, and give you a little bit more insight into what it is. This is not insurance. This is access to care when you need it at a very, very affordable price. Thank you so much. You're I appreciate welcome. your time. Thank you, Dr. Bassey.